How's it going there, Soldiers Guardians? This is Sailor Peace. Earlier today, apparently, this started popping up here. Introducing the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yep, if you can guess from the title, apparently somebody murdered our blue, our blue hedgehog here, this mascot right here. Apparently, we don't know who did it, but you know what? If this is going to be a murder mystery one, all I can say is I'm looking forward to it. Definitely like a little murder mystery, just uh, without being killed at random. So... Anyways, so, <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes, uh, how this goes here today, so if y'all like what you saw, it might make it another part on it, we'll see how it goes, depends upon how long this game will be, so, at any rate though, if you would, uh, if you, if you like to see, see more of these, um, feel free to let me know down in the comments after the stream, also, if you would like a shout out for a future video, please make sure to, uh, leave, you can, if you would like, you can leave a donation after the stream as a super thanks. Otherwise, if you would like to help support the channel, you can always uh, leave a donation via super chat, or you can also use my PayPal link, which is pinned in the chat. So right now, currently I've got some donation goals going on, but right now we're not going to be thinking about that. Right now we're going to be thinking about figuring out who the hell murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Could it be Amy Rose herself? Could it be Shadow the Hedgehog? Does it make sense? Could it be? Could it be any one of the chaotics? Could it be maybe tails? <laughs> well, at any rate, though, let's get started. And mods, make sure you keep an eye on the chat. I'll still be looking back on it every once in a while. So, new game, please, and thank you. Let's see what we got. Phew, made out the champion has head schedule. Wait, who's this dude? So far so good for my first day on the job. Oh, totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just send my name here. Oh, okay. Hello, my name is Tavaria. This is does not look like me because we all know I'm a plat I'm a platinum hedgehog here. Oh, you already finished the game there, Alex? Haha, <laughs> nice. Alright, anyways. That's my name. Did I spell that right? Yes. All passages could be by scribble. My handwriting isn't that bad, is it? <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Uh-oh, am I nervous? This is my first this is the first day on the job jitters. Work at the train standing car take yourself. I'm not very shaking off. <laughs> did I just slap myself? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Tobias, did I just uh, see you hit your, hitting yourself? Maybe. Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Yes, thank you. And also, plus, I will ask, do not spoil anything. But, however, feel free to leave your criticisms about the game. So far, it looks like a lot of people really enjoy it. And, hey there, dragon. I try to write myself, so I'm feeling a little bittersweet. I'm not going for the second option. Well, truth be told, not really. Oh, I last saved my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Damn! 32 years as a train conductor. Respect for you, bro. Hashtag respect your conductor next time you go on the train. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Aww. Oh, congratulations on the time, sir. 
Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spadonia locked. Lucky dog, you. Well, he is kind of a dog, but yeah, you're a lucky dog. I shower's been on the first, so I'm excited to use the, the hotels. <laughs> I know the feeling all too well. I've been down that road. I can see why his wife's excited. Enough for couples. Today's your first day working in the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Let me add it to your inventory. Open the inventory at any time. Yeah, I'm glad to see. I should look over the menu. Oh. The Mirage Express dining menu. It features chili dog, mm -hmm. instant ramen, cat and android, and chicken cordon bleu. Hey! What are my special pieces? Oh, yep. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. doesn't complain about the chili dogs. So, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Say what? Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Chicken cord on blue? Ding, ding, ding. Glad you have the menu, okay. <laughs> a little about the bustle. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. Ooh. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to live. 32 years, I don't blame him being wistful. Me neither! This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. Understandable. I learned that from the interview. What's the event today? Ah, it's, oh, it's a murder mystery party. Okay. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so do I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. Hmm. So, I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Okay, let's go. Oh, ah ha ha, very funny, Andy. I saw what you put there. And I see a cookie. A piece of cookie. Hey there, Lucky. <laughs> oh, Blizzard, easy there, bro. And yes, thank you, Dark. Yeah, as Dark says, if if there's any lags going on, please do not complain. It's out of my control. So far, everything seems to be stable. Seems to be. Haha, <laughs> glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Alright, here we go. Okay, okay, I see some familiar cinema. And there is the Amy. Is that Amy? That's actually really cute right there. That's actually really cute. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, that is so cute right there. She's got a little cupcake on her head there. That is cute. Hey, there's Tails. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. Oh, wait. Tech? Tails. He's gonna geek out for, the, for this train ride, isn't he? And there's Vector. You're right, Tails. I can get used to seeing on a train like this. What do you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Oh, oh, it's Amy's birthday. Oh, happy, happy birthday to Amy Rose. Happy, happy birthday. Now get her some cake. Oh, there's Rouge. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Typical Rouge. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Oh, busted! It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? <laughs> that sounds like me right now. What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, you are You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, I'm not sweat. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and hey there, spicy boom chattering friends. Okay, hey, watch him out there, Max. There might be there might be those under the age of 18 watching in the chat. And there's Sonic. Hey pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Of course not. Ark, are you a pirate? <laughs> oh no, I'm bored. There was a bot. 
fine. Wait until I announce everyone's rolls to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. <laughs> oh, that's typical Sonic for you. Always going after the chili dogs. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. Don't worry, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like and talk with and we'll collect your tickets. Okay. Got it. Alright. Let's start with Blue Boy first. Since he's supposed to be the dead boy. I need to have someone that can manage yourself aboard. Hey, there we go. Eh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When do we fear the worst? When my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. What is he? Is he, is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I'm just waiting for this character to fanboy or fangirl. I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will be fun. Alright, so we got Sonic covered. Let's see. Hey, it's the Edge Lord! Thank you, Shadow. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Get bags here. <laughs> okay, that was random. Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I can get for you. Dots. That stairs are <laughs> so cold. Why are you shivering? Be you fetch you a jacket. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. It's just, it's too much of an edge work. Alright, Rouge, get over here. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how for? Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, see here. Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill. Oh, busted! <laughs> I'm gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Dots. Dots. More dots. Oh, this was yours? Let's just slip down. Here you go. I may not be actually the, I may not actually be the best of judging character. This is why you don't trust the bat. <laughs> yes, everyone is dripped as hell. <laughs> See here. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> why certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helps. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting! It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good friend? You see, I'm a girl who loves a true, a good true crime podcast. Oh, interesting. She's into true crime. Mm. Oh, hey Chris, I'll see you in the chat. <laughs> and hello, Emily. And for those who saw the thumbnail, I'll just give you a heads up. I do have, uh, I am using one of the renders that Emily ha has given me as a uh, part of the thumbnail because uh, I think I'd at least probably be better until we get to the juicier stuff before I use the scared, the actual scared one from Cookie. So, anyways, here we go. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before I move along to you, miss. Oh, have fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday! Aww. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically a tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you! You better use it wisely, Missy. Anyways, give me one more here. Just want to check something. Alright. One moment, ladies and gents. Uh, yes, HL. Yes, I am streaming right now, so. Give me just one moment here. I may have myself a guest come in here. And just quick note, please do not ask to join in. It'll just be me and this other guest. Oh, 
call the message first. Hang on. All right, there we go. All right, so yep. Again, like I say, I'm gonna be having an extra guest here. Hopefully, if you can hear me, you could be able to unmute at any moment now. There we go. Sorry, I was busy and having to deal with the thinking game. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I won't ask what the thinking game is. I don't want spoilers. But anyways. But yeah, let's alright, I got Chris here with me. So anyways, now let's get back into the game. Yeet. Alright. <laughs> a lot of people a lot of people are enjoying this game. Hell, even my friend Henry is enjoying yeah. the game right now. <laughs> yeah, I keep getting a lot of people but bubble on about this game here. All I can say is Thank you, Steve. Thank you for at least letting me know that this game was available. Anyways. Anyways. Like, literally, Tego, <laughs> you really outdone yourself with this. You literally got hundreds of probably thousands of people enjoying this game. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyways, but yeah, so far, even a lot of people have been streaming this earlier, too. I know Chilled has, you have as well. Uh, Still and am, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. We're turning this into a stream reception, ladies and gents. Right, and I see, and I see Skyler Blue in the chat, and yes, I'm aware you streamed it as well, Missy. And see, and I know a certain Blue Jolts has as well. And so still is. Speed is Speed is planning to do one with uh, Amy and Shadow, so it's mm -hmm. still got his. Mm -hmm. I think Creed. Uh -oh. Let's see, Silver Dot, you see the Hedgehog. Hello there, and hey there, Tiny. Hey there, Moonlight. All right. Anyways, let's get back. Let's get back into the game here, folks. All right, back to collecting tickets. Ooh, I like Liz's outfit. Ooh, she has a fan. May I have your ticket, please? Oh, well that was, well that was easy. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Why do I feel like you're saying that directly at me, Blaze? Anyways. Probably is. Well. Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? <laughs> just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. <laughs> well, all we can say is, hey, soul dimension! What's up, near me? Okay, hey, soul dimension! Up your game on the on the baking game. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Oh, hang on. Some notification. Oh, okay. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before, princess? <laughs> what are you doing? Please get up. Oh, <laughs> I'm bowing. <laughs> Why can I not win? Why can I not win with this group? <laughs> See how Vector's doing. Hey Tara, if you're in the chat, I found your one of your husbands. Anyways. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding ones, I love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something I miss, sir? Hey, I am Vic. Hey, welcome back. And uh, Vector had just admitted he had misplaced he may have uh, misplaced his Oh boy. Yeah, you'll see when we get to that part in the okay. game. Could you speak up a bit? I won't play it. Okay, I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns out. Alright, that would be amazing. Thanks for me. Seems as well we should keep our eyes closed for his ticket. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait, is that why this thing is highlighted? Let me check here. Ah, okay, never mind. Oh, hey, it's cute! Hey, ooh, hey, it's a weather forecast. Okay, let's see. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Happy birthday, Amy. And the weather for today. Cool. And let's talk about this. Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Hey, that was quick. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. And okay, could you please stop trying to boot me, Max? 
Get back, Boopy, while I'm in the middle of gameplay. <laughs> All right, anyways. Let's see. There is a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. He's a ninja. You consider me calming? Wait, a a how did he know? We were thinking it. He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Mind reading! He's mind reading! I did not know about this until now. Vector's a- uh, not Vector. SBO's a mind reader. Oh, there goes my brain. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Wait, what? Why did you keep bringing up friggin' Wigwood? Stop talking about Wigwood, dammit! What is- what's going on? Microwaves! Oh. Anyways. Anyways, back to the game here. Clings onto walls. What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Alright. Alright, let's talk to the ticket. Can I get your ticket, youngin? There we go. Hey, yes, sir! Thank you. May I offer you any snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. Give some the shadow. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Aww. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Hey! Tails is my buddy already. I feel so happy already. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone is on. Uh, thank goodness someone on the screen is normal. For now. Mm. Anyways. Yes. And there's. For the now. Button. For now. Howdy. Could I please get your ticket? Oh, that's kind of crumpling. I think you got the ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> wow. Someone's a grump today. Okay. What's this ticket out of the napkin holder? Uh, say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Vector! Let's be sure to return this to his special order. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Smart. Last ticket is added to your inventory. Find anything yet? Well, we might have just what you need. Today, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Okay. So, oh, hold on. So sad to see a ticket alone and confused like this. We'll, we'll return it. I have to. That's what it's returning. Great, okay. looks like I may have to distract the guard. Okay. Dang it. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thank you both so much. I was really worried that you could be out. I missed the murder mystery. Oh, old oh, two guard here will have their hands full kicking you out. Blah. Do I really gotta kick out of Croc? Really? Bruh. You're right, I wouldn't lose without a fight. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security? Wait, what? You're both Microwaves! Right. <laughs> You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone! Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. Hmm? You remember our promise, yeah? Huh? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely. You can count on me. Hmm? Hmm? Hang on, I'm just checking the chat here. Oh, so Luigi Kid had also streamed this too. Nice. Or played this. Yep. Yeah, he no, he streamed it. Oh, okay. Still. And oh, hey JT. Glad to see you. Come on board. Hey, Shadow 86YT. Oh. Is that the people streaming like crazy with this game. Mm -hmm. And Jaden suggested, no, you don't kick a vector. You punch him to the moon. I'll be sure to remember that. To be honest, this group seems quite capable on their own. And train? Assist Hibari if they need any help, won't 
That's all I need to hear. You have my choice. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his chair. <clears throat> Excellent. I'll be off. Now let's take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to the very very convenient. Sounds good! Absolutely. Will do. Thank you all for following me out the night extension. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards, that must be the details of their motivation. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the minute Mr. Game, one of you will be murdered and the, and the rest suspects. Everything all good? <laughs> uh, trust me, you'll see when you get further into the game, it's funny. Oh <laughs> you'll boy. see. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, and I see Sarah popped into my chat. She sees, well, Detective Tales. Uh, in a way, yeah. Pretty much like you say, they're in outfits for the theme here. There's Sarah, so of course, Tales is like. Join us, Sarah. For it is my birthday. Way to put the hammer down, Amy. Figuratively. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Monic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain will go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Dots. <laughs> oh, that expression blazed me. <laughs> hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the blusher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, SBO? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower books or something. <laughs> Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. <laughs> typical. Typical Shadow. And last but not least, me, the general supporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. <laughs> Uh, I'll be sitting in. Hope that's okay. Uh. Oh, no, right. Oh, that's your mic. Oh, hey, we got a map. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Yes. Map added to inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murder amongst you all. Yeah. The murder can kill a single participant however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the chain and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who's done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. I know I am. Everyone, to your station! And everyone in the chat, just make sure you keep an eye out on everyone as well. And also, plus, make sure you do not, uh, do not spoil anything. All right. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How about I got goosebumps? Tima! Isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? 
Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murder. Well, in a technical sense, uh, if you actually try to organize the story properly, it can't be possible for a detective and or a journalist to be a murder. All you gotta do is think outside the box. But, all I can say is I'm gonna keep an eye on the two of you, just for safety. So we're stuck here for an hour before we go out and scope the place. This way there's always a neutral party. Well, if it's just like a little murder mystery game, then it shouldn't be an issue. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they'll be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Mm -hmm. A Flicky card. Oof. My backstory is that I was best friends with a Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. Poor Tails. He needs a <laughs> My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Honestly, I still can't get over to how well these yard work is for this game. I know, right? Gets off the you know, Sonic IDW comic vibes with the you know, the yard. Mm. Not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Uh, microwaves. Oh, hold on, wait. This turned in for a bad turn. Uh. You're both awake! Y yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's staying a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. Yeah, why are we in the closet? Nobody knows. You gotta think and figure that one out for yourself. Mm -hmm. This train can reach such incredible speed. What you know, that? that kind of thing will happen when you overdo it with the caps and spams. Oh. Even if you try not to. Yeah, those on Chris's side, please be careful on what you type. And mods on my side, make sure you keep an eye out. Who knows? Maybe there could be a plot twist. Maybe because we're streaming. It could be one of you being a murderer. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's only them. I already <laughs> called the police on them. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. This is actually intended. It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. You should go check out the others. Tobias, right. could you get the door? Of course. <laughs> Seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pika Pika hammer. Dogs. Eh? Let's go to the next area. Let's find another way out. Uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. Let's go. Uh. Oh, Charles. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Why are you being sus? Uh huh. I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Where are the fox's sidekick? Let's go! Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the situation. 
Do you think my character's in the way? What the frickin- No, microwave. Shit. I'm not with the microwaves. And interrogate. Got it. Seriously, if microwave did, microwave dead. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I guess that probably one of the jokes for this game is going to be microwaves. And I think it's going to become a meme, an annoying meme. Oh, God. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't start evil like your ex flippy companion did. Happy year! Now let's get searching! Hmm. Let's check here. The shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey, Tavaria, look closely at this. Oh! I wonder how this side of the shelf got snapped. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into. I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much custody. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Yes. Crack on the shelf is out of your inventory. Alright. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Can we get out of here? Sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skill has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean iron cast pizza. <laughs> All right, well, that's now considered canon. Tails makes I cast iron pizza. The red they never read in the part about him like in mints. <laughs> All I can say is in mint condition. Okay. <laughs> I regret nothing on that one. <laughs> All right. Oh, hang on. Alex says something here. Here's a tip for you. Make sure you look everywhere, and I mean everywhere, and not leave a trace behind when looking for clues. I got it, bro. I got it. I'm already that far in the game, so I already know that. Because yeah, we're all detectives here in this game. Let's check in here. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check that. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, it's a very clean trash thing. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? I sing the chow in here. Finally, the chows are getting some love again. Chows! Right. Ah, the one floor sign keeping people safe and alert. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, not one floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast he also slipped in the juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sonic for ya. We slid into an old, older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's not that counts, I suppose. What's this? What's this? What's this? A ride? Oh, the tip is broken. Oh, yeah, I see you found that. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's really for a mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to Hey, it's a big. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. I don't know, Tails. Let me double check to make sure I didn't miss anything. I got this. I got this. I got this. Alright. Oh, I didn't see anything. Alright. Time to interrogate the perfect girl. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Really? Dig ourselves out on a train? Keep looking. Start interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. Ooh, hey, I like this music. What? You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like you two. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was away before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Hmm. I don't think you were sitting, sitting idly while Tavaria and I were knocked out. 
you attempt to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempt to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have the evidence to prove that? Tavaria, let me see. Trying to get to work. Cool, tutorial time. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Hold on. Amy hammered the weapon to get the robots in and take it. What the heck? <laughs> Very good, Noble. Well, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something. It fell over. Damage makes sense. We have no argument here. You're grasping. Okay, Carol, what now? Well, now that we follow this train of thought, how does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Well, now I have to explain myself. Oh, see, uh, well. I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing batniks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's just prove not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic. Shoot! Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's kind of hard to keep your rings, especially when you get further into the game itself. Choice on if you want to play the games again, you know. Did it happen again? Yeah, it kept dying. You attempted to hit the shelf on the way, but you failed. 
the handle to your hammer snaps right off. And as we both said, I try to get us all out with my hammer, but I fail. I give the shelf one big whack and the handle to fall off. No big deal and try to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I needed it. <coughs> well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten these here, a little elbow grease there, and fix. Tails! According to my calculations, if you help the shelf right here, it should do the trick. Alright, stand back! Stop! Hammer time! The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. We got a dead body! We got a dead body, folks! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Oh, wait. Oh yeah, murder mystery. Looks like my game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too! Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. <laughs> that was really convincing, Sonic. Wait, uh, uh, Sonic? Uh, eh, body numb, can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Uh, Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving? I need to on him, genuine? Well, damn! I guess this really is a murder! Well, damn. My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm almost up panicking. Calm down, Tavaria. What do I do? This is looking good so far. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure I can't remember to look in the character. These guests are incredibly renowned, which means that they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Gloria. I'm your employee. Surely you won't let me down for this last ride. Haha! <laughs> 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 I'm the fastest thing alive! You can't catch me! You can't hit me! <laughs> I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. You know this is part of the game. Everyone's safe, conductor. Title The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Dun dun dun! Sorry. The saloon car. Oh, there goes that arcade machine. Whoa, look at this place. Ahead. She seems really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. I don't want this. Okay, oh, hang on, guys, spammer. Yeah, of course. You will be hidden. No sands or butts. What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's not a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. Mm -hmm. We're all just 
really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. Uh, I don't know about that, Tails. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic says. Is he really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something to for happening? I really hope it's a game. I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. <laughs> fair. As I said, best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, what's my learn card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. A. Man. Not a proper detective without baggage. <laughs> what are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. <laughs> 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 All I can say is I find it ironic. Yes. <laughs> Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy <coughs> came through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. wonder how long he's been keeping that voice up for Amy. I'm wondering if you could tell us where you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... When to finish this? Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. That's where I feel like if I didn't tell you anything it is, I'm gonna lose my shit. He's obviously actually about something, but what did it all about us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles. So it seems we're on our own. Tori, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. As they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> Up now. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Hey, there we go. Oh, yeah. Super Monkey Ball is a part of Sega. So yeah. It's true. Do you think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches. Oh. What could I be for? Smashed Arcade is at its your inventory. Sorry, this is interesting. What is this? This is use cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Sorry, this one has lipstick room. Lipstick on the room. Oh? That's not Knuckles color at all. Someone else must have been there. Either that or wait, I didn't know not to wear lipstick. You should not miss. These cups are added to your inventory. I think we've got enough. Hey, what's with the microwave to record out loud? Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Uh, let's wait on that. Ah, a bowl of assorted nuts. A classic stolen snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Huh. Seems like someone licked all the salt off of them. Ew! That's unsanitary! <laughs> oh, the tail's reaction. <laughs> I don't blame you, buddy. Or maybe they're just insulting. <laughs> Breathtaking views. The train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at the speed. I get cautious when it's going to be so I have to avoid things like roller coasters. Yeah. I don't mind roller coasters. But I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding the carts. I'll never understand this right now. Wanted! Omo Chow, reward. Let me get a good one. Need some cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omo Chow. Hate to see them like this. Agree to disagree. What do they do? Medical malpractice. Be 
we're going to have to interrogate that robo chow sometime soon. What do you mean? He's literally standing right behind you about to smack in the back of the head. That's not even well practiced! Pra uh, 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 uh. Don't uh. even get any ideas. Oh, ow. Uh, we'll pull myself back up and continue on with this game. If I see you trying to do that again, I will smack you even harder. Boy, you're the one on the wanted poster. Anyways. Smack. Ow! Please stop letting me play the game! Uh, honey, do something! Oh, uh, say that much with it! Elmo Chow's smashing me with a hammer! Sounds like a problem. You're the one who brought it up. Ass! Anyways. The robotograms are really helpful. But they're quiet. What's the arm doing? What's the arm doing to my hair? Uh, is that arm playing with my ponytail? Ah, oh, hell no! It fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. Huh? Well, what an interesting tech. Uh oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How oh, well can? Oh, that's funny. The door is locked tight. I need to solve this case. I wonder how Amy was able to leave that. Good point! When were these doors locked? And how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. Let's see, okay. Howdy, partners. Spittoon. Free establishment. Uh. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. It means it's anti tobacco things. There we go. Colossal Highway Zone. I'm interrogating the knucklehead. Glad I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> he seems a little flustered. Knuckles, are you blushing? I still leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we can see it better? I said leave! I'm starting interrogation. Well, Savari and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you to buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is. We have evidence, too. We do? Savari, just take a good look at, our, at your inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Most likely the Smash Arcade. The arcade kimchi. <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? <laughs> Alright, here we go, folks. Currently streaming on his own right now, so give me a bit. I'm on my. I'm still here, True Blue. <laughs> yes. I just heard her hurting the head on my end. Anyways, let's try this again. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's try this again. Hey, hey. <laughs> games. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have of damages or punches? 
What are y'all staring at my hands for? Because, <laughs> uh, ahem. Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I made a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? I'm on it to buy it. Distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Hey, what? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, damn. <laughs> the aims are getting dicey over here. Define spicy. Uh, things are getting interesting with the uh, the mystery. Oh, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, I keep dying at this think game. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Great. One a final thing. Uh, uh, there, there is a difficult setting in the office menu at the title screen. Oh. I'll have to double check that because I didn't see it. Ow. Oh, okay, yeah, I call it bullshit on that one. That's not fair. The string gear is a pain. Agreed. Ow. 
I think game will uh, get a lot harder later on in the game. rings when you're trying to survive but also trying to dodge freaking spinning spikes still not enough for me at all god damn it why did it have to be 60 of these By ten. What, you want me to get hit, Brandon? Is that what you're saying? I should get hit by the spike balls? Okay, I see how it is. I think I've got a strategy for this. I totally got a strategy for this. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving up. There we go. Finally got through it. I can't stop dying. I wouldn't blame you. I hate this game. I hate this game. Brandon, stop making shit up, okay? I'm not trying to go for the last two, for the last ring at the end. I'm trying to survive, thank you very much. We both are, seriously. And as a friend of mine we're talking about, he enjoys abusing the streamers anyway. Especially since he enjoys bonking me on the head. Oh no. Let me try it again. Eric, you say good. You made this game fun, but also difficult at the same time. Yeah, I had a small black 
by Baron Bush. Weird. <sighs> Come on. I keep missing the jump. Yeah, this one is hard. There we go. Finally. I'm not experiencing any lag, but you're Oh, come on. with a freaking big game. Thirty hard enough for the last one. Now I gotta get seventy of these. Ouch. Then and it's a new three just been just getting faster. Sega, we love you and all, but why? <laughs> it's probably a lot harder. <laughs> but yeah, I'll say this, folks. If you're watching this, just uh, remember the phrase: "Bitches get stitches." I'll take that. Into it. Still not enough. I'm off by 15. And I kept getting hit, but I survived, and I still don't have enough. Doesn't really help that it keeps going too fast. Even in this game. Okay. Hey. Okay. Uh, Ryan GTD. Again. Bitches get stitches. So stop bitching about me losing the ring. And for my end, Silver's not even in this game. Ooh. 
just might be able to get it. I think. Nope, I take that back. Nice. Okay, I machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Oh, <laughs> hold on. High score. Okay, so what is this? Damn it! That was close. Oh, I got to Look at my high scores. Vector is at the top at seventy-five hundred one. Knuckles is at 7500. And then there's toast, apple, bread, Fulton, bagel, candy. Oh, okay. Hey, you've forgotten one more on there. Hang on. It's all something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Pictures beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who gets the highest score. Frustration you destroy the arcade cabinet. I don't I don't know why the heck that was hidden, but except for you. Alright, and frustration you destroy the arcade cabinet. Uh, I would love play four more. Punch of the air of frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. Shoot! Oh dear God, not again! I hate the thinking game. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. Oh shit! I think I was going by a little faster. No time. I can only just let myself die because no point. Because there's more spike balls than I just said balls instead. That's why I said pause. Darn it. I wish I knew how to time up uh, and slow down. Too bad you can't slow down. And I wish that my brain would work with me. You and me both. Okay, Ma, it's okay. I need your help with the, with, the, uh, with the chat there. I need to focus. Why are you not working with me? Come on. Okay. Too soon. Okay, that was my bad. Too soon. Too soon. Yeah, I think my foot fell asleep. Pain. Doing good not to lose all my rings, that's a good thing. Ouch! But that's a bad thing because I'm still losing all my rings. Okay, finally made it through. Whew. Whew. Okay. See, trust me, that was gonna happen a lot, but I said there's the blue standing in the opposite. I'll adjust the difficulty here in a bit, and as soon as I do that, I better not hear any bitching from so-called gamers claiming I'm being a wuss. That's a very- I don't think you can- I don't think you can adjust the difficulty on this. Then why is Alex telling me I can? That's I don't very, know. Let's see, that's very- what for the specter was here with Knuckles? What? Uh... Use cup. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Why are you supposed to participate in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday? You and Vector enjoy some drinks playing the arcade. It's, um, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, 
Uh, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you said. Vector popped in at the top of the hour, wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in on it. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I already told the bridge version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what if a cup of lipstick mark? Bruce was in here too. That explains a lot! Oh, uh, finally! I finally got through this. It's inconsequential, it's not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But if you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, but I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Mm, I don't understand the scenario. Back to visit the play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quests. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Uh-oh. Uh -huh. I want to step back to something I noticed. Oh, no. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Tavaria, can you look at it one more time? A non-name on the high score list. What is Toad talking about? Let's see. Toad. <laughs> Alton. Alton. Shadow? I'll let you think of that one. <laughs> All the other names have a food thing but this one. Goes by Ultimate. You may not know Tavaria, but there is someone here that goes by the title The Ultimate Life One. Yep, it's Shadow. But there is really someone here that goes by that. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, but. Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. Well, he isn't so much of an Ultimate Life One, but he can't beat Super Monkey Ball. But I'm taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Oh, oh, oh. Rector and I then fought to beat Shadow score. They're both very annoying. Yep, you all immediately had to compete, huh? Well, it's boys. What'd you expect, Tails? He gave me this before he left. A key. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door. Oh, wait a minute. Why did he have that key? That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. Oh yeah, the birthday key. She does have the birthday key, so. Hmm. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library <laughs> that was back to the here? Why is Shadow locking doors and what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. accent. Ugh. I'm gonna have to find Hold this artwork! Oh, More information than I expected oh. to hear here, but it seems we can move on. Oh. Hang on. Let me go ahead and save real quick. Options. Assist mode. Oh, okay. So, but yeah, let's see. We designed the difficulty of the Think levels for experienced Sonic fans, but we understand every player has different skill levels and needs. If these levels are inhibiting your enjoyment of the game, we hope the assist mode settings will help you tune to your ideal experience. Okay, so let's see. Uh, invincibility, no might, invincibility might kill it, but I'll use that as a in case of emergency situation. Let's see, things to win. Let's, let's put it at 90% to be safe. And if the pitfalls become too much of a problem, I will. Or here, hang on. Let's put it at 80 instead. There we go. And if the pitfalls become a problem, I'll start disabling them. All right, let's resume. More information than I expect to get there, but as soon as we can move on. As of right now, I believe.
new starting knuckles. We can only know for sure when we confirm things get back to Fair enough. The library is the next car. Oh, the lock. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me to detect and fail some butler. Really? I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. We'll do the sheriff. Come on, Tamari. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. Tamaria! Coming! Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got a partner. Alright! Well, if she's searching for Admiral Jaden, I would not be surprised. This is getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espy and I want to give you your presents. My presents? You both too sweet. Thank you. Aww. Hmm. Breakfast, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Are you found any leads yet? Oh, the tech repair needs help from the birthday girl. Uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. I still question on whether or not Sonic is really dead. But how are you going to leave? The door to the, the door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Oh, yes, the birthday key. The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case for anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking by nice, suspicious, I see. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. Tails? For God, you can think outside the box. A detective can, in a way, be the murderer. You gotta think. That'd be definitely be a murder mystery to find out that the detective happens to actually be the murderer because he's trying to cover up his shit and then trying to blame it on somebody else. That okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm shutting up now. And I'm uh. Just make sure things go well. Things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that. Besides murder? Uh, my social skills are non-existent. I'm back to the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw- uh, Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. And I'm SBO, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from the poetry reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic pr of prose. Can I hear some? Oh boy. Hmm? Okay, let's. Okay, let. Okay, guys, let's not co complain about it. Calm down, rules, guys. Okay, seriously, UNC Fred Bear, please don't be a hater and don't be a dick. Okay. What's April Fool's is not till tomorrow, at least for me and her. Yep. But speaking of April Fools, uh, make sure you keep an eye on my channel because I will actually be releasing a, a video for April Fools. So all I can say is keep an eye out for it. But in the meantime, let me just grab a piece of candy real quick. Sorry, I need my sugar. Don't judge me, I'm a fat kid inside and I'm still fat. Sure, uh... Drops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. Dee dee dee. <laughs> Tails' expression. Was that it? Add more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm not satisfied for now, thanks. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, come on. I, hey, come on. I like poetry. I want to hear hear if there's actually more. 
timing, I suppose. Tavadi and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. <laughs> when we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Wait, hold on. Okay, so the library car. Hmm. How can Sonic... <laughs> Looking at the map here, just making sh I'm trying not to overlook shit. Where Amy told me and SBO to stay. I probably picked the book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Tucker got bored, so he left to go see what Knuckles was up to at the saloon car. Okay. That matches with Knuckles' story. Yep. Where was Rouge? We all happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came out of the library car, seemingly looking for something. She then went to search for the saloon card. Hmm. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. Most likely Emerald? After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Hold on. I'm thinking about this more. What if Shadow really isn't Shadow? What if Shadow is actually Mike the Cat? Oh my god, no. <laughs> I say that because whenever we play Murder 4, he always has a habit of shutting and locking doors behind him. Oh yeah, you're not wrong, but no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the ro rolling monkey action. <laughs> Pause. I hardly noticed where Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. But... <coughs> but... Maybe he could have also... Chaos Control. Whenever Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector or SBO couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you turn with any meat, I will chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered. Ladies, if you are SBO Sims, he does poetry now. I repeat, he does poetry now. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I love the music in this game, it's good. Hmm? Hopefully, they release, hopefully they release a soundtrack for this, oh, it's good. Hold on, I just checked the chat. Andy says, man, they were playing Alex's game, Super Monkey Ball. Ah! <laughs> Very funny, Andy. Thanks, guys. That alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post, and determine if Espio was actually in the library car of Rady. It's all tasks, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. I'm gonna save real quick. Alright. Let's check here. Oh, those must be the brochures that uh, Rouge was ogling over. 
We've got travel destinations here like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Dwyer, look at this. There's a couple maps here. Hmm. This seems to be a map of a library car. The books are categorized by genre. Oh, so come on, here. not again. Or the freaking thinking game. That's a little more different. Oh, damn. I love a good overhead. Oh, you did the full screen this time. <laughs> library map is added to your inventory. Cool. Should we take this for sure about a cave, too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, haha. Yeah, that's fair. Ouch. Oh, come on. I want a, I want a, I want a map of a cave. I mean, even part of my brain has a cave pod. Oh, wait, wait, I'm just going to shut up now. Nobody shares my father's I gotta save my friends. Get damn it. from a tree branch. The large text below is hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. This little child's hanging there, refusing to let his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. Oh, okay, okay, Alex, Andy, all right, stop being dirty-minded weirdos. Do I even want to know? Ouch! Uh, you did it literally made me lose my turn of All I can, sorry, all I can say is a super monkey ball game. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? Shadow's supposed to walk through the library car before going into the saloon car. Huh? When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should I make a note of it? There we go. Yeah, I was almost ready to say, oh, but it's unlocked, but I remembered too. Oh yeah, Amy was, has the key to every door, so she's the one, one who unlocked it, so never mind. I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to the inventory. Okay. So many books on the ground. I wish I mean, this thing is a bit too easy. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked over or well, knocked out by the training speed, train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of way too easy. out to searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels em empathy for everything. Can. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Ouch! I hate to say it, but there's nothing there. Uh, I thought there'd be something there. Okay, what did you need, girlfriend? Tavaria, are you sure that there's nothing in the trash bin? No, 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 no. I'm alright. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Uh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. Tavari, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Oh, oh, was it supposed to be a compliment? Oh, hang on a moment. I'm just gonna check something real fast. I think this just got a little harder. But a little more fun. I'm sorry, I had to check something real fast. Oh, next spike! Now you know my pain, hun! This game shouldn't have the, uh, any leg spikes at all. This game literally, and the spikes should be good for this game. Meanwhile, I'm trying to figure. Sorry, I'm just checking out a few things. So I'm trying to figure out why I'm pink almost everywhere. So many. Shadow. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Okay. Oh, great, this got a little more harder. Uh, let's just take a pause to 
sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. Bell plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Divine, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time, I'd be a millionaire. The globe. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. There are a lot I of already them. know. Girlfriend. I already knew. Anyways. A lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people in shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you haven't been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Oh, come on. I can't this. Oh, really good. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and do its, do its thing. Ouch. Yeah, probably for the best. Ouch. Well, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little too quick. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a trained library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out of the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one is the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back up? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Interrogate Vector and Espia to find out what really happened. Let me check this one real quick. What is this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reads of evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. Oh, uh, God. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. I see what you did there, MC. You may not be wrong. <laughs> okay, let me double check, because I gotta look thoroughly. Chaos Cola advertisement. Book club. Gone Gal. Oh, must be a, must be a parody of Gone Girl. Gate Espio first. Damn it, not in the frame. Espio poem? How about a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh, wait, there's my lotion. Really? Uh, okay. Oh, trust me, I literally felt the same way when I was reading that myself on my stream. Yeah, I'm just like. And I'm close to the finale of this game, too. Yeah. Nice. And, and I fell off. Hang on a moment. I'm giving up some Sonic Shuffle, you know, vibes, and I haven't even played the game. <laughs> Hang on. I want to see how long I've been going for. Hour 45. Okay. Yeah, I think I've been going, no, going longer than that. I'm gonna go for another 15 minutes here, folks, before I end it here, because I also got a recording that I need to do. What you recording? I'm gonna be recording with Sky, but I'm not gonna say anything because there'll be spoilers and we're both on stream. Eh, you probably doesn't need me for that one if it's for Ark. Yeah, I told yeah, I told her if she needs me sooner to let me know in the stream chat because I'm still streaming. Anyways. Dang it. Off by one ring. Hmm. Let me try to take. Can I take your order off? I have a poem about this. My star 
large stomach babbled, but I ignore the grumbling tummy. For the eggs I received are scrambled when I ask for my eggs, sunny. Oh, wow. Uh, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you a lot. Oh, wow. Dick. Bitch. <laughs> Start interrogation. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay, it's a double. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, so you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I'm just to either you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective about examining the validity of your alibis. Tamari and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if SBO really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're, pre we're prepared to present, pre present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. <laughs> There's a horrible reason, Vector, and you should be shaved. Yeah. <laughs> what? I wasn't entertaining uh, him enough, it seems. Vector <laughs> enjoys being social. Plus, we were expected to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon's car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Max. And that brings our attention to you, SDO. Rouge entered the library tower, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but you were actually reading the entire time in the library car? Of course he was. Mm. Once SBO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Uh oh. SBO doesn't owe you that detective. What the man book? Uh, he does owe it to us, Clock Boy. What kind of things do you think I let I read? If you want to talk, I have a hunch on what what that book might be. Sorry, could you help me out? Alright, sorry. What book do we think SBO may have been reading? Well, there's only one book. The Express Manual. Use the Express Manual! Thank you for the spoiler! Not really a spoiler, especially when it's the only book you have! Well, he could also read a brochure, hence why it could be a quote unquote quick read. Emmanuel, you think SBO was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support? <laughs> Alright, alright, think game time! Gotta focus! I hate the think game. It sucks! Yeah, I just need to see out of ring here, so we'll see how things go here. <laughs> I hate the eating game! It sucks! Ow! Aha! You missed! Huh? 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 Aha! You missed! Yes! And I made it through! Whew. Thank you, Alex, for letting me know I can turn down the difficulty. All I did was just turn down the ring, the ring amount, so... That actually helped out a little bit. There are books scattered around the floor, sure. But the remaining books on the there shelves are all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put back in the incorrect place. Espio sweating! This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Oh, we're on to something. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. The trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. It's very, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio Ouch. some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Ow! Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Hmm. Ain't that enough rings. Let's go for the middle one. 97. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes up. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. So 
so I have a feeling the train company just didn't want pirate standards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Oh! oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's because of the friendship. It's because of the friendship comment, wasn't it, Blue Star? Ah, <laughs> uh, I get it. Seems like they have to ace that question. Sorry, right, hit him with another one. Okay, we'll play switch. There's the flicky. Let's go backwards a little. Let's see if he'll remember 89. What is the Mirage Express Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and it will be charged a no show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Hold on. Jeez, the oh, yeah, my ring, no. Good thing it. <laughs> Gee, the person who made this world must have been over 65. Well, you also forgot... <coughs> you also forgot, too, that they're getting old, and their memory isn't the best. Ow! Let's see if, if Espio can go three for three. Okay. Four or two. What was implemented to support the conductor's duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass you a little test? I believe so. Totally. It's wild you're able to retain all this information so quickly. Oh, yeah. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guessed. And you both haven't heard the question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But I already answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no. I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to sustain despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can- SBO, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you read. Yes, that is correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Do I? He's always putting me on the spot. That's too very have a piece of evidence that someone can also spot a CO ring, but what? Oh yeah, the lock! Oh yeah, the lock and the brochure. Well, we'll go for the lock, since Shadow, since Shadow had messed with it. Shadow's lock? Please pray tell what this has to do with anything. We're up, Sky. Let's get our arguments going. Think! Alright, think game time! Wish me luck! I hate the think game! This sucks! You're the only one! There we go. Oh, and I hit the wrong. I I didn't jump. My my brain really farted hard. Oh, come on, Andrew Dreams. Come with the grill. More than getting them. All right, made it. All right. Take a let me know, but why? <laughs> why collecting rings? It's like freaking Sonic World all over again with the whole collecting rings just to get the fucking Chaos Emeralds. So far, so good. Ow. 
I take that back. Ow. Son of a bitch. I'm losing more okay. rings than I'm gaining. Ooh. Shadow rocks through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he sets the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. SCS said he saw Shadow enter the library, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Oh, uh-oh, he's sweating. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book, but I didn't notice Shadow. Doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. Uh, 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 you see? <laughs> I can sense Espio's desperation here, defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from school car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, you were really in the library ca car at all. But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon <laughs> car. What the fuck? It's a mystery, my dear Kalaya. No one that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That potion eater is vanishing. Uh-oh. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back to the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't... I didn't... Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting, reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow return to the library car? Okay. <coughs> Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's on to something. I'll let him continue with his line of questioning again. Savaya, my favorite and beloved employee, please. Protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old people still to get sued. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? The library map. Alright, now let's get my thoughts in order. Alright, uh, guys, that's the same game! It is pain and torture when it comes to the freaking think game. Alright. 
Yeah, you could probably decrease the difficulty there for you, hon, when you get a chance. Yes! Made it! Yeah, I did it right now. Huh? Yeah, that is called bullcrap. Circular with this and one with the final part of the game. I did well to get past through the other ones, but it ain't worth the struggle and uh, brain cells to try to get through all of that. Anyways, alright, back to my side. The library map. Oh, oh, I see. See the exit? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow rocked down the straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have a point out where exactly on the map you where could Espia have been shadow to not see them? Dang it. Looks like they're right here. Interesting, that's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned to the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because the bookcase is in the way. Shadow could have seen SPO, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, SPO. There's just no way you could have seen it. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I'm I was always grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Yeah, Alba isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. But we did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm glad I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. <laughs> Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, Blaze. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Annie must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. So that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SPO. Give him heck. If you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep that poetry sharp for you both. A motor is on the loose, while to doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock, while our heroes are on the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Tavaria. Let's see what's next. Come in. Yeah. Let me see. Jeez. Okay, Ryan TDD, please stop complaining. And there that long little thing finally got that stuff, right? Hey. Say that. Yeah, I double, I double checked and it looked like that she ended up pinging everyone, but she then sent another ping to certain individuals that she absolutely needed. So. But Let me see who's needed in that, like whichever arc it is. But I'll say this real quick, guy. If you still need me, feel free to holler in my in my stream chat. But otherwise, I feel like I'm getting a little too sucked into this game. 
Alright, we off. so far and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time to pull us back. My my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you darling? And I see you brought the microwave master. Really? Uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought up folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell them this. I've been hunting for a treasure, rumored to be stored here on the Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rich. Alright, well... It is the Fabergé Chow Egg. Chow Egg? Wow, that does sound extravagant. <laughs> Please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything is well taken care of. She'll be in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she switched the train cars. I have to do so the Fabergé Chow egg is here, in this car. Lock with her safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rich? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train blueprint in the library card with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. Train's blueprint? Uh -huh. Please, Ridge, let us see that! Uh-uh-uh. Find this keeper, sweetheart. <laughs> we need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leaves right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow Egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get to that car to use the elevator and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issues. Yes, sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or I the rules must be refreshing for a princess. <laughs> I wouldn't say it. I don't want to spoil it for you. All I can say is it's kind of sad. Oh no. Oh god. But in a good way. <laughs> but in a good way. <sighs> Anyways, let's proceed onward. But also big question too. Is Sonic really dead? <laughs> I think the only square here is you, Michael Red Master. Wow! Damn, Rouge is a bitch in this one! I must say, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. But no, my poor mysterious reputation! It's crumbling! Alright, alright, I'm in. I'll help. <laughs> well, I suppose the little place is far you're in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé challenge. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh, wait, when did we get a whiteboard? <laughs> oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabric Chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we? Distract. Distract them, perfect. We're all charming enough to have to work. Why do I feel like Rouge is gonna be the distraction? <coughs> oh, remember, you get to choose. Yeah, she's the more uh, <coughs> charming and influencing one if you catch my drift. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mm -hmm. But she won't be as. She won't be so much charming with her face after I punch it because she won't stop stealing my candy! Would you please oh. just let me have a bite? No. 
Wait, that's pretty, in this game it's supposed to be an April Fool's game? The fuck? The fuck? So they actually made an official game that was the uh, April Fool's game. Well, that's a spoiler and a half. Can give me a moment? Anyway, I think I'm gonna end my stream there. Damn, I've been streaming for three, uh, uh, almost three and a half hours. Oh damn. That's totally worth it. Beat the game. Mm -hmm. If you guys enjoyed the stream and want to see more of these, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell for more videos. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed the new first part of Origin of Neo Origins. Do look forward to part two. You know, probably have more planned out for his origins, leading up to the day that he became who he is. Now, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later. All right. As for everyone on my side, I'm gonna double check something here real quick. Sorry, I had candy in my mouth. All right. So you know what? I'm already getting too sucked into this game. So if this goes well, we might be able to knock it out all in one stream. Bear with me, folks. This All right. Crazy. All right. That was actually a really nice thing to say. All right, let's move on. Sorry, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. It means they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm going to be in a casino, my poker face needs to work. Okay, who is distracting the security guard? Rouge. Rouge. Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charm? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Okay, to all those who simp, who openly simp over Rouge, please say meow in the chat. Anyways. Hello. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Okay, who's the second security guy? Mm. Well, if we're not they're not gonna let us go with Rouge. How about Blaze? She's cute enough. Think you need to distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't swallow her. It's great. Her voice is just short. I have chills! Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? I'm debating between these two here. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a chow by the toe. If he hollers, cradle them until he gives you hugs. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guy. Perfect. I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted, how would you get ac get the access card? Hmm. Pick your pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That child in uniform won't notice the face. Excellent! We can count on you, Rouge! Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises! Oh, hey Tara, you missed you missed uh, the part where we where we were interrogating Vector and Espio. Sorry, we had to interrogate one of your husbands. <laughs> With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Sorry, what's your plan? Uh, <laughs> I'm morbidly curious about the last one here. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Okay. I'm gonna let chat, I'm gonna let you decide on this next one here. Go for one for say there's a drink without a coaster, two for push the security guard over, or three, pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Guys, because I did, did name the MC 
Kivaria. Please don't get any shipping ideas. I don't see Blaze in that light. That's not me. I'm just morbidly curious about the third one, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. So remember, one for the first option, two for second, three for third. Shut up, Shane. Okay, we got two for one, one for three, three for one. All right, come on, guys. I know there's more of you watching, so. Okay, oh, okay, we got two for three. I guess no one wants to. Okay, remember, remember, one for the first option, two for the second, three for the third. Right now, we got four people for option number one and two people for option number two. Okay, now we got five. <laughs> okay, now we got one for two. Right, if you want to help out with the decision, feel free to let me know. What now? Okay, I'm in this decision here, so we uh, figure out a way to get Blaze out. We got two, we got three options. There's okay, so there is uh, number one, say there's a drink without a coaster. Number two, push the security guard over. Or number three, pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Okay, that's number. Okay, that is uh, four for the option number three. Dragon has a has a mysterious option number four, which is kill him. <laughs> All right. Anyone else want to put a vote in? Because so far number one is winning. Okay, Smash Hunter chose three. Okay. Oh, Dragon chose one. <laughs> Damn. So, okay. We'll try number one, but if it gave me this, the thing to go back after I chose Rich again, then we'll go with number three. All right, here we go. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Really? Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go, will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll all make it to the elevator. Inside, we... Okay, yeah, all right, never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, did you, did you choose option number three during your playthrough? Uh, the spouse thing? Yes. yes. What happened? Didn't go... It went fine. Okay. But yeah, on a serious note, guys, please do not do not try shipping me with Blaze or ship Chris with Blaze or Neo with Blaze. <laughs> Alright. And just like that, we all make it elevator inside we celebratory dance, pop some apple cider, sing victory a cappella. Uh you know what? I think a cappella would work. Because there would be so many voices. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, the last security measure we didn't account for. What are you about with the mechanical unpacking from the ceiling? Add tails to stable up? I should be able to disengage him. I'll just take some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. pretend there's nothing wrong. Also, in other words, we do that meme and say, this is fine. <laughs> fine, this is totally fine. <laughs> Cry and hope they sympathize, imagine you're not in pain. Or pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darling, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. To the elevator! I'm 
knew the plan would go off without a hitch. You couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our plan beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter, now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chalet. <laughs> No question, this guy be safe for that pleasure. Enter the code on the blueprint and find out what Oh, I'm honestly, uh, let's see. 0401. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait. I just looked at the numbers that Rouge said. 23 for 2023, 04 for April, 1 for the first. I think you. Did you not hear me what I was saying there, Eddie? <laughs> I heard what you said earlier, but I didn't realize they were going to put in the actual date as the, co as the code for the save. <laughs> that guy literally got us with an official Sonic game that was, a, that was a literal April Fool's game. Sega. Damn. You troll. Anyways. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, hey, it was a good game though. Like, I mean, seriously, we were playing like a fun mystery game. That actually had a lot of fun in it. It's here! Aha! Uh -huh, I have it! Alright, so it wasn't it... all of them. Yeah, that's true. Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here! Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. We truly think that's all there is to this game. No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, so loud. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived before before. We can open the eggs. You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All of you, all you need to do is twist it. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, shit. Rouge, what have you done? Oh, no, you're going to think you're using another one. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one left to tell the, to tell the egg's secret? Because each egg is a bomb? I think you're on to something, kid. That sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all the hard work. Rouge! Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> there are so many options! <laughs> but let Rouge kiss the egg. Oh god. I have to see that. It's as they say, love always prevails. Oh, she actually kissed it. I still hear it kicking. Oh, what a clue. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, okay. Oh, the dragon says peace. You should do the questionable ones first. Okay. Wait. Take one for the team, huh? Eh? Take Here, one to for the team. Here, give it to me. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Can, get as far away from me as possible. Just remember, as yes, I am a hero. That's an I am. I mean, if that's what they want to do, then who are we to stop the micro stop the microwave kids obviously not gonna sacrifice itself. Their body's way too scrubby to contain any sort of black. I'm not even skinny! I'll be back later. Okay. But I'm not even that skinny, guys! Come on! True. Let's think of something else quickly. The tail's pulled down with his tail. Mom, down with your tails, look fan. Where's the chat? I still hear a ticket. Color refreshing please, maybe. Okay, new plan. Rock the egg to sleep. So you think this egg is this crazy and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy or girl. <laughs> 
my god, let's see. Flip the egg upside down. Safari, what's flipping it going to do? I don't know, try it. Nothing happened. Happy? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, how did this not? Oh, no, eat the egg. That was out of me slow, I won't. Really, Tavaria? Probably a post on the joke, huh? Yeah. <laughs> see, open up to the dinner wire tonight. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one. Like you lose. This is in a movie, Tavaria. This is real life. No, this is a video game. <laughs> He's got a good point. Stop on the egg. Just how I like my eggs. Smush. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. Obviously not. Add like the egg on fire. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosives should mix. The only thing fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Daria? Maybe. Clearly not going to blow up the elevator. What do you think? Let it finish chicken. Are you insane? Do you want us to, us to get this blow up? We need to expose the response by it. That's our goal. Listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Maya, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Put it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just SPO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic work. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are constantly doing their tasks to keep them The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Maybe. Yes, there's your boys. There's your boys, Tara. Those robotic arms that attach to the LA seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as the Spanish J Chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. Three hours later. Hey, it opened. It's hollow. Not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Yeah. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. Tara, why are you sipping in the chat? <laughs> I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. See, and look what's inside. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Well, I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived until the Fabergé Chow egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they actually died of old age who just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much as fun as this thing, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Card is back at their post. Hopeful, hope they slipped in the drink coaster being okay. Think 
Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was nice. It's back with the girl I see. Feeling was strangely fun, but I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge? Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What, what? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you've done with them, maybe we can take a look. Well, I appreciate your sister, for your assistance. It's as I said, find yourself with this. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasure. But I promise to let you take a few later. I don't want to stop being grateful. But I'm sure you get it. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. <laughs> But I don't think there's any reason with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, well, we'll get out of your way now, Alvin. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me a one of these. He passed through earlier. Oh? <clears throat> Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we have a lot of people mentioning you, Rich. But also just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you, too. The door's not locked. Hope you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Tavaria. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Let's save. All right. Hold on just one moment. Just going to check for something here real fast. <clears throat> okay. Should be all good. Every time we see him, I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know, the conductor was ordering around a bit earlier. At the very least, operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. Dr. Amy has built a lot of casinos to run around it, but I never actually sat down to play any for fun. Ashley. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. The Lounge Club. Oh, there's Chows in the background. They're playing instruments. It's so cute. I was as good as me time to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in and she talk over me. I have my reasons, right? No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Huh. Huh. <clears throat> huh. So you made it these days. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. i also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Ugh. Sorry, I got some gas in my system. Give me a moment.
Uh, sorry, I just noticed that I had some copyright claims on a few videos, especially one extremely old one, but let's not worry about that. Anyways, back to our regular schedule program. Well, sorry, it seems like Shabba isn't gonna talk. Let's just investigate. Alright, ready to find some answer tales? Indubitably, my dear Tanaya. Hey, it's a big chow band! I feel reawakened. <laughs> Sorry, can you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone brings out? I just think you should do it. Eh, why not? Alright, watch like a prick. <laughs> Look, make sure to look in the garbage twice. Got it. All this stuff when you open the door too fast, it will everywhere. Tails? No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Tavaria, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Tavaria? Always something. Uh, all right, let's check the trash bin. Wh what's this? <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. A couple papers out of your inventory. Oh, well, I can't check it again! But there actually is something. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer, computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely! It seems convenient! It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power of these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, um, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Bring me a cold chaos cola. Mm, nope, not listening. <sighs> I'm quite parched, too. I could run and get a chaos cola for you. Uh, no, no, I'll be alright. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here after all. Hmm. Hey, there's the keys. A key ring. Must be shadows. The locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring is out of your inventory. Well, Tails, we have to check this out. Ooh, pretty. These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just saw the same thing! Is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it suck. Hey! And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Oh, wait. I think we already went through that one there. Whoops, my bad. Let's see. Am I missing any other hobbitals? Big 
Chow Band. Music combos. Oh, what's this? Huh, Tails, do you see this? A pole string. Oh, yeah. What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back there. Come on, we gotta see what this leads to. He's curious. This must mean something big. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute! Oh! <laughs> it's the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back to the passage where we spot us. I think we're on to something. Hmm. Let me save here. Shadow the Hedgehog. We need to add to our inventory. We didn't pass the job to the inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Spill the beans, boy. Why don't you come over? There's nothing I can help either. I have to leave with these. That stair is so cold. You know, maybe we'll get out of here, actually. Sorry, we certainly will not. Start the interrogation. All right, Edge Boy. What you got? We get out of this. As I said, I haven't pointed to the Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we question everyone on this train. Every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... Huh? Pray tell. Why was I locking all the <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in, in right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? The shadow is locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. I'm escaping the conductor's car. Hey, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. We're interrogating Shadow right now. Nice. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked do door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out of me. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous. But I think the point stands. My source claims he never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though, with Shadow trapping Sonic? Uh, technically speaking, yeah, because they're rivals, and I'm sure that probably Shadow wants to, uh, <clears throat> wants to try to at least trap him and take it back. I'll play along and follow this train of logic, can you? If Shadow did lock the doors of the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found Sonic found in the dining car? Oh yeah, that's right. Exactly. I think Tavari and I can explain the car change, however. What evidence do we have that Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? The hidden passage. Okay, just get my phone. Alright, oh no, not the pink game! Alright, we'll see you guys. Ow. <laughs> Missiles! <laughs> Fuck! I got distracted. I was sitting in and told to play Ideas, please. Anyways, <clears throat> Tanaya and I found a hidden passage in the 
warp drive that leads right to the library. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used passage, snuck through the library car, walk past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Maya. Huh. This suggests my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then found the crime scene being so close to his sta station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, walked the door to the conductor car, on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. <laughs> Since Tails and I were mer more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. But I, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Espio was reading. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at the table reading. Espio reading library checks out. That's what you told me. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. I, I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. You forgot there's a bookshelf here, you dwarf fish! Why are you even searching for Espio, huh? Hmm. If you must know, I need to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the good next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. Tobari and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? What evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? Bada bing, bada boom. That feels good. Now getting my spot in order. Shink! Oh, shoot. Shink game! Oh, my God. Oh, I'm God, hold on, hold on a moment. I'm gonna check what's going on in the chat here. Okay. Oh, Tara! No, no Sonato in this stream. No. Anyways, there's only one reason. There's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espion Vector. No way. Well, what are the Zell key? Could one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibility. Wait, 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 wait! The trash! Crumpled up paper. Mentioned Amy's favorite band. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Tavari and I, and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Huh? Has ev everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Daria? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need this evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train, train car, walking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. Oh, that's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? 
shadow line to keep us away. Was shadow walking all the doors to keep us away? Not a Savaria. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? <sighs> How dare you? Tavaria, show me evidence. Uh -huh. If Shadow is trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tell some Shadow is trying to keep just Amy away. Why? That evidence that shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know. Pop up on paper. That feels right. Whew. Organize my life. Oh, no, not again. Hmm? Buying tickets for Amy. What? what? Shadow? Is this true? Are you trying to get me costume tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job at hiding the surprise tickets. <laughs> Edge Lord got outed. He was trying to do something nice for Amy at the very last minute. Okay, yeah, Ben, you might want to save your kiss for Amy when you get the chance, especially since it's her birthday. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used that printer earlier, and I find it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe it. After I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything! Fine. The, su the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. <laughs> Sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Word from my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had seen, had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but will be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed it. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow Eye, your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you 
too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, don't know if... Too late, it's happening. <laughs> I can't wait, the show of a lifetime. Fine. Lots of pictures from the concert, you two. It seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow is behind everything. My credibility as a journalist supporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the blood. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through the end. I'm more than happy to have you both. Sorry, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together, the full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murder for good. Right then, let's do it! All right. To the conductor car we go! It's now or never. Uh, hey, let's not, let's not sh do Shad Amy in this one, especially because we have an Amy simp in the chat there, Shane. Anyways. I should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? Uh-oh. That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Someone playing darts. That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. <gasps> oh someone brought a weapon onto this train. That shouldn't be possible at all. I agree, Tails. That should not be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting him on board. Let's make note of this. This robot arm has completely been torn off. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm getting. Oh, oh my god. My. Uh, yeah, something's going on in my gut. Uh, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear it off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. You should log this. Hi, right, sir. I think I've found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. We will later. Let me check the rest of the stuff first. I didn't realize these robot arms can also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Do they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I can drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. I could have drive this train flawlessly. Aw, oh, guys! <laughs> I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they used to show information in advertisements. They're nice. The pic they're nice. The picture is really clear. I will watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said happy birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish him a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yeah, I wish that too. I'm not 
microphone. We could talk. We could talk to the whole train with this. Hmm. Should I say something? <laughs> I'm just gonna beatbox. Tobias, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Tobias. Thank you for sharing. A bit. Sus! Hmm, it's a large one. It seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you get up there. Wait, why did why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, uh, the tails, right? Tobias! Uh -huh. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait. What's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. Okay, that's just sweet. <laughs> all right, all right, we got, we get it. He loves his wife. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to check this trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say I always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Can I check it again? No, no, they're right. You should always check the trash bin. Let's give it a look. You gave it so easily. Will you be okay if there's nothing to in there? I found something once. No one can take it out of the way from me. I'll be fine. Hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Oh, no. You look so sad about it. You two have been talking over the trash can for a while now. Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see it. Is it a clue? Maybe just leave. Just... Leave Tavari alone for a second. <laughs> okay, anything else in the Ipness? Ah, I think we're covered. Alright, Amy, let's have a little chat. I think we have evidence. It's high time we name a suspect. What do you think, Tavari? Ready to solve the case? Yes. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect, with the assistance from Tavaria. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Huh? Oh. Vector! Real quick, can you, can you come with me to get Sonic? You must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Well, most likely he got shot with a blow dart. Eddie, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to it. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I can see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBO. You and I love a good thrill. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just for some time? <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! Oh. What in the world? That's what I want to know. That's Amy's voice! Quick, where's Amy? Oh! He, he, he's not responding to us! Oh no. Oh no! Is he actually dead? Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? What is Amy moving? Sonic! Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head, head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Uh, which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? 
Oh god. Yeah, AV. AV is getting protective mode. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic, he was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murder. Tails, Tavaria, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Hold on. I remember that everybody had alibis. Everyone would have had... Well, almost everyone had alibis. They all had keys. They had good excuses to be where they need to be. Wait. You know what? Guys? I want to... I want to get opinions from you in the in the chat. Who do you think done it? Wait. Oh, Ben. We don't need to know how. We need. We don't need to know how how much uh, uh, how much uh, you enjoy getting hit by the hammer. Okay, we got two for Espio. Who else? We got three for Espio. <laughs> Come on, let's use our hats here, folks. Is it Espio? Oh, everyone's saying Espio. Sure it doesn't, Ben, sure it doesn't. But anyways, oh, okay, we got one for Shadow. So we got one, two, three, four for SBO, one for Shadow, five for SBO, two for Shadow. I'm gonna be honest though. We never heard any alibis from Blaze. Okay, we got another we got another SBO. Okay, another for Shadow. Hi, Nightstar! We're just wrapping up here. We're about to find out who done it. Everyone is right now is right now torn between SBO and Shadow. I have a suspicious feeling it's Blaze. But... Oh, okay, okay. Spicy Boom Shadow says Vector. Okay. All right. You know what? All right, do we have any more? Anyone else? Hey there, Spark. We're just trying to figure out who done it. All right. Okay, so you know what? No one else is putting in votes. We're gonna try SBO. If it allows us multiple selections, We'll go with Espio, then we'll go with Shadow, then we'll go with Blaze, and then we'll go with Vector. Espio! You- Uh-oh, Vector's face. I didn't know such a thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of which you wish, I would love to discuss it. 